Yo people, I'm Sean from the Net Ninja and this is HTML Basics Lesson 5, The Head and the Body. So in the last lesson, what did we do? We started our first HTML web page and it was pretty simple to be fair, but we've got the head in there and we've got the body in there. So in this lesson, I just want to kind of hone in on those two tags, make sure you completely understand them before we start to pad out this website even more. So just to recap quickly, <clears throat> in the last lesson we said that the head tag contains all the extra information about a web page. So this can be things like metadata, CSS references, JavaScript references. So while this is data that you want to tell the browser, look, this is some extra information about the web page, but you don't want to show it to the user. All that in the head. The body tag contains all the visual content, everything that you want to show to the user, you put in the body tag. Headings, images, paragraphs, whatever else you've got. So I'm going to jump back over to brackets now and I'll see you there. And here I am back in brackets, and we're pretty much where we left off last time. We've got our HTML tag, head tag, and body tag. And we're going to start with the head. Now, last time we popped in this meta character set UTF-8 uh, tag, and I briefly said that this was basically telling the browser, hey, we're using the UTF-8 um, character encoding for this website. And 99% of the time, that's what you're going to be using, and probably even more. Um, unless you're going to be making a website for a Russian uh, person, you know, something with Russian characters in or, or Japanese characters or something like that, you're going to use UTF-8. So that's going to be one of those things that you just put in the head every time. The next thing we did was the title tag and I've decided we're going to sell fish online. So I'm going to change this to Mr. Green's Fish Emporium. All right. In fact, we'll call it Mr. Green's Smelly Fish Emporium. Why not? Okay, so the meta tags. Now, I said last lesson, or maybe one before that, that there's various different types of meta tags. We can use a few of them to tell the browser and crawlers. Crawlers are things that come from search engines to see what our website's about. We can use the meta tag to tell those different things about the website, make associations with it. One such thing is the keywords meta tag. Now, the keywords meta tag ain't used as much these days as it was in the olden times. What it used to do was provide kind of uh, keywords for Google or other search engines to use so that if you search for these keywords, it your website might show up in results for them. Now, it's not used as much these days. Uh, people used to abuse them. They used to stuff loads of different keywords in there so they'd rank highly for different terms. Google and other search engines cottoned on and it's not as important anymore, but it's still nice to make that association. Um, it can't hurt, certainly. So we'll do it in this example. And this is just a meta tag. We give it the attribute of name. Remember, these are all attributes, these little things that we're giving it. And the name is going to be keywords. And we put the keywords themselves in the content attribute. And we'll say fish, um, smelly, because we're selling smelly fish, um, trout, salmon, um, why not? Let's sell shark. Okay. So there's our meta keywords tag. Uh, we'll do another meta tag, and this is going to be a description one. It's called the description meta tag. And like the keywords one, this is used by search engines. If you search for a term in Google, <clears throat> you'll see sometimes a lot of links come up and then little descriptions underneath them, little text snippets. This, a lot of the time, is where they come from. So you want to give a good brief description of your website, something that's going to attract users to click the link. So we'll say we sell the smelliest fish online, guaranteed. Who the hell is not wanna, gonna wanna come to this website? So we've got our meta tags now and we've got our title tag. So what's next? We'll do our CSS link. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this. All you need to know for now is that we put our CSS links or references in the head that's where we tell the browser where our CSS file is located. And when the browser sees this CSS reference, it's gonna say, right, I'll go to the location this user or this developer has, has specified, I'll get this CSS file and I'll use this to style the web page. So just remember that much for now. You don't have to remember too much about it. So this is a link tag and we do link rel, which stands for relationship. So, so the relationship of this link tag um, to the document is a style sheet and type another attribute well it's going to be text slash css and that's just the type of the document um, 
and then we do our h reference and href by the way stands for hyper reference i think <laughs> quote me if i'm wrong um, and that's just referring to the location of the css file so where is the css file stored now i'm going to make a folder called um, css and then i'll do a file called main.css and we're not going to make this main.css file now in a future course what i'll do is take this finished website that we do on this course and create a CSS file. This is just to illustrate to you how we pop a CSS link or reference in the head. And that's all there is to it. So the browser's seeing this, it's saying, okay, so we've got a link tag here. The relationship to this HTML document is a style sheet. So I know it's a style sheet. Um, it's of type text and CSS, and this is its location. So I can go out and find that now. And I will apply all those styles in that main.css to this uh, document. Okay, so that's pretty much about your, your head tag. We can also put script ref, uh, references in there, JavaScript, but we're going to do that in a later course, similar to this. I mean, it's a different tab, tag. It's a script tag, but it's a, a similar kind of uh, method of referring to a location. So your head tag contains all the extra information you want to say to a browser. Look, this is what the web page is about. Here's some extra bits and bobs. Doesn't show anything to the uh, to the user. Now then... The body, the body tag is everything you want to show to the user, all right? And you can put any tag that you want to in here. Um, to be honest, we don't really need to put any other tags in here. I mean, I've already demonstrated that we can put a heading tag in, we can put a, t uh, a P tag in, and we're going to kind of flesh this out as we go along. So uh, that's all there is to know, to be honest. Anything you want to show the user, images, text, whatever you put in the body tag, this is going to be the visual aspect of our website. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, just a quick overview again of the head and the body. In the next lesson, we're going to start to flesh out the body even more and actually build on creating our website. I'll see you guys then.